Hi friends, so this is your friend Arun from Live in Germany channel. So today I'm back again with another interesting topic, interest rate hikes in Germany or increase in interest rate. So this was a topic democratically selected in our Telegram group. So thanks everybody who voted and cited this topic. I also expect the same amount of likes in the video. Just kidding. So before I start this video, I would like to mention that this is not any kind of financial advice, whether you should buy a home now or not. That's probably your decision and also not a consultation for a home loan process. We have people for that. You can contact us for that later. And before I continue, also, if you are still looking for a personal loan with old interest rates, the interest rate in personal loan has not increased drastically compared to home loans yet. Maybe it will hold for next two weeks. If you want to, uh, please book an appointment using the link in the description. We will talk and then see what's the possible offer for you. Now, let's go to the video. So now let's go on to the content. So some of you who are looking for loans, for example, checked online or just want to stay updated, you would have had a shock when you checked out, okay, current interest rate is going in ranges of 2%, 3%, what they're talking about. And then the first question that pops in your mind or probably you ask the person or the financial consultant, my friend got the loan at 0.9 percentage. Why are you trying to cheat me? So this video will try to answer the question if he is really putting the stress or what is the reason the interest rate has increased a lot. So the now next question we'll answer is what is the current trend of interest rates? So as you see in this picture, for example, the current trend is going high. It is, has increased a lot within a short amount of time. So the thing is like if we had around one percentage last year, but this year we see it within a matter of couple of weeks, it has increased almost double or even little bit close to triple, I would say from one percentage to 2.9 percentage, 2.6 and 3 percentage. So this is the next question we pop into our mind is, is this a normal increase? Has Germany seen something like this before? So actually when I came to Germany in 2011, I guess, but in 2000, till 2013, the interest rate was in this range between three to four percentage. So it is not anything abnormal. And when you read online, you can see that interest rate has been even on the range of five to six percentage before 20 years of time. So actually we enjoyed a time when the interest rates was really low because of several policies and currently it is getting back to the normal because of several events. So this is not a new thing happening here. This is not an abnormal thing, but the abnormality is the speed at which it has increased, which we will see why it has increased in the next topics. But now let's go to the next one. Ah, was this expected? So everybody, uh, it pops in the head. So this is an ex the hard truth is it is an expected event, but there is something which is unexpected. So first unexpected why is because there was an announcement last year itself that United States will be increasing their interest rates. So normally what happens is the consequence when interest rates in United States is increased by a few points, all the investors will run from every country to United States to put money in their account. So this will have an impact. So the other countries will also parallelly try to increase the interest rates also. So this is one uh, thing which was expected. It was a planned event. And also one thing which I normally tell in all my videos of the last year actually, a uh, demand for raw materials or lack of raw materials in the construction market or in general in Germany, but in construction in, in, in particular. So this is also a reason why they expected the interest rates will increase to 0.5 percentage, maybe more like, you know, from 1 to 1.5 percentage. What was not expected, for example, is this um, increase to almost now uh, such a huge increase, you know, 2.6 percentage is what Interhype is saying as average increase and sometimes it's even close to 3. And also the speed at which it has increased is something which was unexpected. And in the next part, we will see why this happened. <laughs> So why this happened? There are several factors, but we will just kick on to the important ones. First one, we came out of a Corona pandemic and in that we didn't have enough raw materials. So there was an expectation that it will increase. And even now there is demand for raw materials in the construction industry, which is also pushing the interest rate in an indirect way. The other important one, which is pushing the interest rate is, for example, is the inflation. 
So inflation in Germany is at the range of 7.4 to 7.5 and in Europe in general also it's around 7.4 in uh, America it is at 8 percentage. So because of inflation this is having an indirect effect on the interest rate. I will talk specifically on this in the next one but the other parameter will jump into. The other one is for example or the very important one which became a catalyst is this Russia Ukraine war. As a consequence of Russia Ukraine war, don't ask me question do we get building materials from Ukraine? Everything is from Ukraine only in the whole life, not like that. But you know, because of this, we made sanctions on Russia on energies. So as a consequence, uh, the energy prices in general increased a lot. There was an inflation in energy. So when there is an inflation in energy happening, uh, construction business is a energy consuming business. That means it needs a lot of energy for transportation. It needs a lot of energy for preparing of raw materials and other stuff. So this has this has also had a direct impact and this is also has shook the market a little bit and made an increase in the interest rate. But there is one thing which actually had a direct effect on the interest rate is the increase in the yield on government bonds like federal bonds. So I will not go what is bond and what is yield but just keep in mind whenever the yield on bond is increasing you can expect a interest rate hike in any country it's what it's a common uh, you know financial thing but this is, these are the major things which has had an effect the next part we will see how inflation and interest rate is actually playing out okay so in this for example we will see okay uh, what is inflation in short i will not go much detail so for example if people have a lot of money and they are ready to buy a stuff but that stuff or the particular product is not available or available in low demand i mean low supply then people who have the money will be putting more money in order to buy the product so this is what inflation is so instead of buying a product at 10 euros because it is less available we will be putting it 12 euros 15 euros this is what exactly happening in, in terms of oil or petrol which we already know about so what does banks do or what does governments do in order to do this? Okay, you're doing the, you're buying that just because you have money or easy access to money. Now what I will do, I will just simply increase the interest rate. So for one house, there were 10 people who were able to afford the loan. And now because of increase in interest rate, now there will be only three people who will be still be able to afford or interested to buy the one house. So when the number of people who require drops, but the supply of the house is still one, so instead of 10, there is 3. This will cap the inflation. This is a very basic rudimentary example, but this is how they plan to do things. You know, by increasing interest rate, people will not have enough money to uh, put in stuff where, which is not available also. So this is how it works. So there are also bad consequences of this. For example, this will you know slow down the growth of economy, a lot of other things into place. But in order to con control the inflation, uh, they will increase the interest rate first to see that. Now let's see how much a person is actually paying more. The small example. So guys, the start of this year, I said like you can get at 0.9 or 1 percentage. You can also make this example using any calculator. I just put some numbers for you to have an understanding. So if you are buying a house at this particular price of, you know, around 300,000 euros and uh, also with a tilgo of 3 percentage a 10 year loan term, Comparing what you would have paid actually with the previous interest rate and comparing what is currently thought as an average, you know, 2.6. So you can see that this will create almost 400 and you know, around 400 euros uh, from your pocket extra every month, which is in year for 4,800 euros. And for 10 years loan tenure, you will pay actually 48,000 euros. So this is how much money you have to pay for a small amount compared to imagine cities like Munich, Frankfurt, where people are buying houses for 600, 700,000 euros. So I'm sure some of our subscribers who took the advice or took the video as a suggestion and bought this before this stuff started have actually saved thousands of euros as individual persons. I am really happy about it. I, I am happy that our community were able to save using the information from our channels at some point of time. Some of you wrote also and I would like to thank you for this. So the next topic we will see for example is um, what does the European Central Bank has to say? Will they also increase the interest rates and what does the expert say on this? So European Central Bank because as a consequence of you know uh, America also increased recently their uh, interest rate again. They are also watching this closely and inflation currently is at you know 7.4% 5% and they have to also put something, do something to control this inflation before it goes out of hand. So in order to do that, there is a possible expectation of this happening 
in the month end of june or starting of july because that is when they will be you know doing this uh, stuff with bonds so when that gets over we can expect possible interest rate hikes but this is not it officially i know this is an expectation in the market as a whole a lot of banks have uh, you know expected that and also european central bank has to do something so they're keeping their options open and this is one of the options and most possibly uh, will be a used option because european central banks is not only for germany they will try to control inflation all over europe and this might be one step ahead so what does the experts say on what does experts say regarding the increase or will this trend continue will this fall down so according to several banks or or you know experts on this sector they expect this to continue until the end of this year depending on how the russia ukraine conflict will move on so that is a huge announcement tomorrow uh, from uh, russia possibly if you want to be get information stay connected or at least watch the news because this will have an impact not just in interest rate but in all our lives for next couple of years based on how russia wants to escalate the war but apart from that in short words expert ex, uh, explain oh, sorry <laughs> experts expect for example the increase in interest rate to stay until the end of this year they don't expect it to go down immediately so at least for one year you can expect that it is around uh, 2.5 to 3 percentage or maybe it may even shorter we don't know yet so this is how the current trend is so if you have any comments which you want to make put in comment section let others understand and if you want uh, to discuss you can also join our telegram groups to understand how other members have uh, you know doing this and how you can uh, save some money on other stuff so thanks for watching this video i hope this was useful in some way for you and uh, come back again with another video thank you and bye bye